What's going on everybody, Mortem here, and today we are talking about A Stolen Realm. This game is kind of a mix and mash of a CRPG with an ARPG. Now it's a sort of turn-based dungeon crawler, but we'll get into more of that here in just a minute. Now the game does have a plot, basically there is a mage who ransacked your village and apparently knows about your brother who went missing some time ago, but this being kind of an ARPG-ish type game, like most ARPGs, the story is meh. But that said, currently there is a demo available on Steam that you can check out. I believe you can also buy access to a full-blown beta. As far as I'm aware, there's not a release date or anything like that. Jumping into it from there, when we hit character creation, there are several presets we can choose from, like paladin, wizard, ranger, that kind of thing, which will kind of set up a character for you. But you can customize it from there, which will let you change the attributes, your starting skills from a full list of skill trees. And you can kind of mix and match to create the character you want. And then you'll kind of get thrown into the actual game. Now, this is primarily going to be a town hub, and then a portal gets activated right at the start that will then let you take on missions. And these missions will help your village out, as well as be an opportunity to go, you know, kill things and everything. Now, the combat itself uses a hex-based grid. And typically speaking, you'll walk into an enemy, which will then bring you into a battle, which will then be a turn-based system. Now, it uses the team system, where all of your team goes, and then all of the enemy team goes, that kind of thing. But it uses a hex grid. You can take a move action and an attack action, that kind of thing. So again, just kind of a blend of CRPG and ARPG. Now, it is a little slower than an ARPG by a mile, really. But it definitely has those kind of elements in the combat. However, I would say the game is structured like an ARPG, whereas the combat itself might be a more traditional CRPG kind of setup. Just perhaps a little more simple than a CRPG might typically be. Now, in town there are vendors and everything that you would expect. There's going to be a crafting system implemented. And overall, I would say the game just kind of looks like it's going to be just a fun little dungeon crawler with a decent story. And I kind of wanted to draw some attention to it since they had that demo up on Steam for people to check out as part of the Steam Next Festival, I believe. With that out of the way, guys, there you go. Just a look at an indie title. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.